Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about swim burners test and retardation. The NOLO tests are two types. One is the swim burners test and second one is the retardation. Retardation test. These are the two types of test in our DC machine, no load. Let's see, first of all, swim burner test. In swim burner test, generally this is a no load test. Hence, we are conducting only either shunt or compound motors. Retardation test also no load test. Hence, we have to conduct on either shunt or compound motors. The swim burner test I am conducting here, see, for example, this is my armature. To know the armature current, we have to make here an ammeter. And here the field winding. To know the current, here the ammeter. Here the total current. And here we are applying the voltage, here the total voltage, everything is clear. This is no load, no load condition. When the no load condition, the current is taken as IL naught. And this is the field winding in general IF, there is no change for no load and full load. And here the current is armature current IA naught at no load. We are giving the supply and connect a rheostat in the field winding to set the speed up to rated value by controlling the field, set the speed up to rated value or by controlling the armature resistance, set the speed up to rated value, whatever. Before the test conduction, we have to make sure that the speed of the motor should be rated value. At this condition, we are applying the supply, the motor is rotating at rated speed, now let's, what is the power in this test? Nothing but the power input to the motor is VIL naught. What it actually, actually the power input is equals to output plus losses. But what is the output here? Zero because this is no load. We have only losses. What are the losses? Stray losses and copper losses. Stray losses, nothing but you know that. Core losses and friction losses, you know that. So, the input VIL naught is equals to stray losses plus shunt to field copper losses, nothing but V into ISH or IF plus armature losses. What is armature losses? IA square RA losses. If these are negligibly small, you can neglect. If you have a value, IA square RA. Generally, here RA is very less and armature current at no load condition also very less. If you neglect this one, we have only that stray loss assigned, shunt field copper losses. If you want to find stray losses, how we can find the total input minus shunt field copper losses gives us the stray losses of my machine. If you want to subtract again armature copper losses also, is there any extent, you can separate them also, subtract them also. So, this is the way how to find the stray losses or the no load losses of my machine. So, by the swim burnish test, I just calculated the stray losses. Stray losses are calculating from this analysis in our swim burnish test. In retardation test also, what we have to find? Here also we have to find stray losses. How we can find stray losses here? First of all, let's read the diagram. For example, this is my bus bar. 
which is positive and negative DC bus bar. This is my field winding is like this. By rheostat, we have to make sure that the, the speed of the motor should be rated value. This is my DC shunt motor. Here we have a one switch. This is my armature and this is my back EMF, etc. Whatever. Initially, the switch is closed here. Closed condition. And by setting the rheostat, set the speed of the motor at rated speed. It's like this. Bus bar and field winding and the armature winding. At rated speed, open the armature connection from the bus bar. What happened here? Armature disconnected. Disconnected from the supply. It is disconnected completely. Then what happened, sir? When it is disconnected, the speed of the motor gradually reduces. Yes or no? Because when this is uh, disconnected, there is no current to the armature. When there is no current to the armature, then the speed gradually reduces and the power in the armature also gradually reduces. After some extent, it goes to zero. When the speed is equal to zero, the power also zero actually. Here the speed gradually reduces. Gradually reduces nothing but Acceleration or retardation? It is retardation. This is the retardation test. Sir, tell me how we can find stray losses. That is important, sir. Don't go for all this theory. Okay, okay, please wait. The stray losses in this machine is equals to rate of change of kinetic energy of my rotor, rate of change of kinetic energy of the this rotor is called stray losses. Sir, what is the kinetic energy here? I said you kinetic energy of mv square, but here of i omega square is the kinetic energy. So here the stray losses is equals to rate of change of kinetic energy. What is the rate of change? The rate of change of kinetic energy is equals to this one. This will give us the stray losses. Here the stray losses calculated based on current and power. Here also stray losses based on kinetic energy of my rotor. This is the variation between swim bonnet test and retardation test of my DC motor. Yeah. We calculated the, what is that, stray losses in both the case. Sir, see here, here, so small derivation is there to complete this one. See here, sir, is it okay? Is it okay? So, stray losses is equals to half, I is the constant, omega square. Omega square, nothing but 2 omega and d omega by dt because the differentiation. So, 2, 2 gets cancelled. So, I omega is equals to 2 pi n by 60 and d by dt of omega is equals to 2 pi n by 60 is this one. What is changing here? The speed is gradually changing. So, 2 pi by 60, 2 pi by 60 is cancelled, sorry, constant 2 pi by 60 whole square multiplied with inertia and dn by dt n into dn by dt not like that n into dn by dt this is what the stray losses of my motor exactly are you okay 2 pi n by 60 whole square i into n into dn by dt dn by dt is rate of change of speed this is the kinetic energy of a motor, nothing but the stray losses. So I calculated stray losses of DC motor in no load test. This is the aim actually of this no load test. So now tell me what are the advantages? These two tests are 
within less time we can complete and these two testers required less input what is that sir these two tests we require just less input that is what is that input just the no load loss of one machine only one machine no load loss is enough nothing but one machine no load power as a input we have to give for this this is very simple very less input and we have only one machine only one machine that's why cost also very less one machine that's why cost less and this is the less input required here two advantages but the disadvantage is, is that this is not for series motor we cannot apply it for series motor be careful and here no load condition that's why there is no rated armature current that's why the commutation not verified commutation not verified and this is not applied for series motor and comparatively this is less accurate less accurate there is no effect of temperature because load is not there right so less effect of temperature that's why less accurate commutation not verified not for series motor these are the disadvantages of no load test no load test nothing but both simple and retardation for both advantages and disadvantages and everything everything is same but the calculation of stray losses is different are you okay getting or not right sir now let's find the efficiency of my motor how we can find the efficiency of my motor up to now we know that the stray losses we calculated stray losses for both the machines nothing but both the tests retardation and swim bonus test we have a stray losses now what is the input for both the machines the input is equals to vi i am not telling at no load condition in general condition what is the input in general condition v is the i i is the rated current you know on the nameplate details and what is the shunt field copper losses v into ish we know this what is the armature copper losses i a square r a this is at rated speed if you want to at half load half load armature current half load current if you want to at full load efficiency full load armature current on nameplate details full load current on nameplate details like that we have all the values so the efficiency of motor is equals to and the efficiency of generator is equals to generally for motor we know the input because we are giving electrical so what is that input we know minus losses we know by input input minus losses by input is the efficiency for motor what about generator for generator we know the output because that is the electrical quantity so output upon output plus losses like this we know the output so what is the input here here the input is vi minus losses what are the losses one is the stray losses we calculated one is the stent losses and next one is the armature losses these are the input minus losses by input this is the efficiency of my motor on swim burnest test and retardation test for both the test this is only the processor to calculate efficiency of motor for both the test we calculated stray losses of course this is common for any so this is efficiency of my motor next what is efficiency of generator this is input for motor what about for generator this is the output for generator if it is motor input if it is generator if it is generator this is the output so the output is vi upon vi plus losses 
what are the losses very simple one is the stray losses and next one is the center field losses and next one is the armature losses this is generally the losses of my machine and the efficiency of generator calculations in no load test nothing but the swim burnness and retardation test so this is one important formula and these two are so important for calculations and the advantages and disadvantages are important for competitive examination this is what the no load test of my dc motor no load tests are two one is the swim burn name next one is the retardation are you clear up to now right thank you